At the altar of St. James Cathedral Basilica, the priest wears white robes. That means he's celebrating a feast, the first feast day of St. Mary Magdalene. She's an inspiration because uh, she proves that even, that even seniors can change. She was among a group of women that followed Jesus and supported Jesus in his ministry uh, out of their purse. Mary Magdalene is identified in the Gospels as a sinner from whom Jesus drove out seven demons. Celebrating the day dedicated to her used to be optional. Last month, Pope Francis declared that all Catholic churches must honor this holy woman. The Bible says that Mary Magdalene, depicted here, was present for Christ's crucifixion, even when nearly all of his friends had abandoned him. The Bible also says that she was the first one Christ appeared to after the resurrection. She was the one who received that first word of the resurrection of like, I am alive. So now you go and tell the other apostles. She's a woman of evangelization, a preacher, and yet she's not a priest. To many, Pope Francis's decision signals that he wants to highlight the crucial role of women in the church and encourage them to keep up their ministry. To step up to the plate, whatever it is, whether it's the plate in front of our kids for lunch or whatever we're doing, I think to believe that, that we are capable of carrying the good news. We shouldn't do the same thing as her, you know, and proclaim Jesus the Savior. Make sure that the next generation We'll keep that same faith. For Currents from Downtown Brooklyn, I'm Katie Breidenbaugh.